Well, hello friends and soul family. Beautiful rising, good afternoon, and or lovely evening to you wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading, and today is Friday, April 21st of 2023. So, happy Friday to all of you out there. I hope that you are all doing so very well on this wonderful Friday. So, ah, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling good. I am feeling pretty good. So, I, you know, I've been doing a lot of inner work, and I've been doing a lot of journaling, and uh, I keep getting shown how I keep getting shown things that are in alignment for me, and so I feel like that is somewhat of a message for the collective that when you are staying in, staying on your true path, staying in your light, staying in your highest vibration, everything starts to work out for you, for your highest good. So, yeah. So, think within your own journey and see if there's something that is happening for you that is for your highest good or something that you just have been trying to shift or manifest and when it happens you're just like wow okay yeah I kind of like that so yeah that's the energy that I feel like we are in right now right you know fresh off of this eclipse and I feel like this eclipse was cutting out a lot of BS cutting out a lot of drama from our lives and yeah it, it feels good so let's do this one last shuffle let's get these cards together cut the deck and see what our chakras have to say today so oh i have to sneeze one second <coughs> okay hopefully that wasn't too loud right in the, the microphone <laughs> So, <laughs> kind of the last thing you want blasting in your ear is somebody sneeze. But, <laughs> okay. So, I'm excited to see what this message is going to be today. Ah, right. Oh, did it? Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. Okay. That's definitely too many. Let's see if any one of these ones wants to come out. Okay. All right. We're going to see what comes out. Give us another one. Is there an opportunity for another one to come out? Okay. There we go. We got something. All right. So, let's check our message for today. Our affirmation. Okay, so today we have our third chakra, our solar plexus chakra, card number 43, which adds up to a seven, so lucky number seven, so, and so here we go. I gratefully and lovingly use my power as a co-creator of the divine plan for the blessing of all human beings. I gratefully and lovingly use my power as a co-creator of the divine plan for the blessing of all human beings. I love that. So, I was watching a video yesterday and it, something like, it started talking about like the chakras as the energy centers and for some reason the solar plexus chakra had stuck out to me. And it's interesting that the solar plexus chakra came out after all of that jumbling that we had <laughs> with the cards. So with this, 
I gratefully and lovingly use my power as a co-creator of the divine plan for the blessing of all human beings. I feel that that is when we get into our own alignment, when we get into, when we start to truly step into our true power as, you know, our individual sparks of the divine, we can co-create a new reality for everyone. Our light shines out to everyone and it allows everyone else to find their own light and activate their own shine within themselves. So I love that this is the card that ended up coming out for us today because yeah, I feel that that is a perfect message. So we all are creators of our of our life. We are the creators of our own divine plan. And with this, when we step into our light, we open the door for others to step into their light as well. So I feel that we're being guided to step into our power a little more fully. So step into our power, however that means, whatever that looks like to you, but to confident, to confidently step into our power and lovingly step into our power and allow our lights to shine so that others can allow their lights to shine too. Because you never know, there could be someone around you who is waiting to shine their light, but haven't found the courage or the power to do it until you have found yours and yet your light will activate them so yeah so here we go third chakra number 43 i gratefully and lovingly use my power as a co-creator of the divine plan for the blessing of all beings meaning all human beings have power if they lay claim to it we can then use it out of our inner fear and weakness against the world and this will inevitably make us increasingly unhappy or we can use our means to assist the life force in its tasks then it will also help us and contribute its immense force to our individual plans which are also important for all other beings Used in this way, power is a true gift of God. Do your best so that whatever you do is also the best for the whole. Ask the angels, ask the angels <laughs> for help so that your mistakes do not cause any damage and your work will be supported. So let's, let's read that again. Okay, so all human beings have power if they lay claim to it. We can use it out of our inner fear and weakness against the world, and this will inevitably make us increasingly unhappy, or we can use our means to assist the life force in its tasks. Then it will also help us and contribute its immense force to our individual plans, which are also important for all other beings. Used in this way, power is a true gift of God. Do your best so that whatever you do is also the best for the whole. Ask the angels for help so that your mistakes do not cause any damage or and your work will be supported. The healing stone is quartz crystal amazonite. The fragrance essence is frankincense and the box flower is vervain. So what is what what I feel this is pretty much just telling us is that We all have power. We are all very powerful, just no matter what. And we can either use that power to feel fear, or we can use it to fear to fuel love and growth and expansion for everyone. Not only for ourselves, but everyone. When you fill up your cup, you're able to fill up other people's cup, and so you having a full cup is good for the whole. So I feel that with this, 
it's showing us that like power is neutral like it's absolutely neutral it just depends on how you choose to use it you can be a co-creator with the with the light or you can be a co-creator to fear and all of those things that will just be will ultimately keep you in a state of unhappiness so i feel that we're being shown to choose choose the light if you want to be in light then choose to step into your own power as a co-creator for the greater good of the whole so like i was saying before if you if you decide to shine your light it helps others to shine theirs and because and you shining your light and allowing others to shine their light is what is good for the whole because then it is lighting up more people so yeah i feel that that is the message we're we're being guided to shine our light and i was just looking back at this little healing symbol and it does it looks like a light it looks like you know like somebody is shining their light and think of it and if it was all dark then you could see that light in all of the darkness and so yeah that's the message for today. I gratefully and lovingly use my power as a co-creator of the divine plan for the blessing of all beings. So, yeah, shine your light today. However that feels to you, however you your intuition guides you to do that and allow it to, you know, spread to everyone else. So, yeah, so that is the message for this fantastic Friday. I hope that you all found something that you resonated with. And if you did, then please feel free to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you so choose. All of those things help this channel to reach out to a larger audience, and I would appreciate it. And if you do decide to subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell so that you are notified each day when I post our daily messages so thank you all so very much for being here i love you i appreciate you and i will see you in the next one